Hello and welcome. Dragex97 here. No, that's not my intro. <coughs> hey, what up, YouTube land? Dragex here, the freaking geek. No, that's not my intro either. Hey, what up, everyone? Dragex97 here. How y'all doing today? Today, we're going to be taking a look at my Black Convoy. Slash Nemesis Prime. Slash Scourge. Slash... I have a bit of a speech impediment, don't I? And starting off, we're going to be taking a look at K Mastermind Creations uh, KMO2 Annihilator. And yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's uh, basically a Hearts of Steel Nemesis Prime. Um, I've already reviewed this guy on my channel. And this is one of the Transformers, or the only Transformer that I bought from the Stop Motion Reviewer. So, I will leave a link to both his reviews in the description. So, we're just gonna go through this transformation real quick. And here we have him in his robot mode. He just looks so great. Especially next to Siege Optimus Prime, it just looks like a good counterbalance, like Optimus Prime, heroic leader of the Autobots, and his evil twin, which is a locomotive, or a locomotive. As far as accessories, he also comes with his trailer, which yes, can roll on its own, or it can kind of roll on the track, which is cool and all. Um, what you do is, you can come over here and open it up, and... Then you come around here and you take this. Ooh, wow, that's dusty. And it's a shield. So you can have a nice shield. This is a shield, Siege Optimus. This is not a shield. This is a shield. It's more like a buckler for, you know, parrying attacks. Um, wow, this guy's super dusty. And he comes with a spare sword, which I can't remember what this is from. Actually, I don't even know which one's his real sword now that I think about it. Uh, he also comes with. Uh, this huge turret on the back which can go forward and backwards on this slider right here which is pretty neat and he comes with spare hands um, so he has one regular fist clench so on each hand he has a normal fist which is straight like this and then he has a sword holding fist that's tilted forward like that like he's about ready to make a swipe at someone. That's just what I have him pose with. And I'll focus in real quick on the cannon. It can come apart. You take this piece off. You take that off. You pull this out. You push this in. And then you can come around to the back of Nemesis Prime here. Or Choo Choo Locomotive. And you can put this piece and line it up right there. Take this piece going to be a ridge and line it up tab on the back and boom oh. Hi. maybe you might want to flip that up first but yeah no you make himself a little jetpack which is super super cool i enjoy little stuff like that yes it counts as part forming but you don't have to do it it's oh look at that it's just neat and my white balance is way off come on focus focus and that, that to me looks really cool. And I believe it, yeah, it tabs in. So, and why is your head falling off? So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm glad that they, Mastermind Creations added that. Look at that. There we go. Seamless. Seamless, seamless. And this gun keeps falling in. Now you come to this piece and this piece and you can tab it together. And like that, you know, it's like a beating stick. And you pull that off, and you flip this over, and it's a lance. So that's mostly what this hand is for. So he can lance someone. I guess he's probably like an evil version of Sir Lancelot. And it's, oh, it's just such a cool figure. Pricey. Like, trying to find him on eBay is ridiculous. Like, I, I mean, insane. But yeah, no, that's, that's as far as accessory goes. Um, on to articulation. Side note, if you wanted to, you could uh, put his 
the handle like that because the wrist socket that the hands are on are also a five millimeter peg point. So you can give them a blaster like this, make a sword or spear come out like this, and it's just, just lots of fun. Articulation on this guy is pretty legit. First and foremost on the head, it's on a ball giant, it's a little loose as you saw before it came off a couple of times. He has this visor that can flip you can flip up and down, so that's pretty cool. That's that's menacing. Um, he has a 360 degree waist. Come on. And then his arms can rotate 360 degrees. And the arms can go no, out that far. I mean, they can go out more due to transformation, but realistically only that far out. But, you know, if you're wearing a suit of armor with huge shoulder pads, your arms probably can't flare up, flail out all the way anyways. But to accommodate for that, there is a swivel joint right there, and it's squeaky. Um, then there is a double elbow due to transformation, which is always appreciated. There is a slight wrist swivel, again, uh, again due to the nature of this figure being a suit of armor. Can't really rotate that much. Legs can go forward that far. Uh, the skirts, which I might add, it just looks great to the whole aesthetic. Are on ball joints up in here so they can rotate and splay out if you wish i guess um i don't know maybe that's what it's supposed to be but yeah it, it's pretty neat legs can go forward and they can go backwards that far like all the way there is a 90 or 88 degree bin uh this piece gets out of the way for transformation and for you know, uh, ankle articulation, which can go back and forward, yay much. And there is a pivot at the ankle, so almost siege levels of articulation. It's a really good, well-balanced figure. Um, he doesn't really topple over that much, except for when I knocked him over earlier. But yeah, he's, he's great, and he looks super menacing, and the black and gold is just, oh, mwah, beautiful. So that's been the quick review on this guy. Moving along. Oh, real quick, you can store his weapon on the back. Upward, downward. Um, and he also has a little silvery golden matrix of leadership, which is pretty neat. Next, we're looking at Transformers R.I.D. Scourge! Or Car Robots uh, Black Convoy. And yeah, this is a figure that I wanted to get for years, honestly. Uh, because I grew up watching the show, and then of course because of Night Slash 2020, uh, having him in his series, and he's... He's kind of a big one. I mean, look, look at him compared to uh, the first redo Voyager. Uh, granted, this figure originally came out in the 90s as G2 Optimus, so he's, he's pretty big, and... This is the modern retake of him. <laughs> it's, ooh, oh boy, that's, that's ridiculous. That is big difference. So he's the biggest Nemesis Prime I have. And he is, yeah, he's big. Um, so we're going to start off with accessories first. Um, at the bottom, he has a place for a sword. The way that the sword's designed, it's, um, but yeah, no, it's designed in a way that it can store under the truck, which is neat and always welcome whenever weapons can be stored in vehicle mode. That way I don't have to throw them in a tote somewhere. Um, so yeah, we're going to put them off to the side. Accessories, this trailer is big. Uh, here's the leader class Ultra Magnus from Combiner Wars. And yeah, yeah, it's, the trailer is as bulky. It, it feels... Yeah, it feels heavier than a leader class figure. So, yeah, that's a pretty big trailer. Um, I got him off eBay, and the guy had a baggie of his accessories. And what's cool is, in the 90s, disc launchers were really big. So you put that in there, and boom. Let's rotate it. Yeah, yeah, hours of fun. It's, it's great. All right, this thing's so big I have to stand up. Um, what you can do is you're gonna come down here, lift that down, and then this sort of just opens up like so, and 
one right there and down here there's a tab push that in and it just opens up into a big battle station and this flips up so you can have the disc launcher and oh good golly goodness gracious this this is a playset okay then that flips down, and then you could put a missile right there. Um, it also comes with this missile launcher, which is ginormous, and it comes on a 5mm peg, so that's cool. There's a ball socket right there, and a clip right there, and boom! Now you got a... Now you got a big weapons platform, and... I gotta lift this up. This is, is huge. Oh my goodness, they do not make stuff like they used to. That is, that is great. Um, let's see if this pump still works. Things like older than me. Nope, okay, missile system does not work. Um, no idea how this works. They're spring loaded, right? Oh, they're little buttons. Some of these springs are stronger than the others. Ha! Huh, that's that's great. Um, wow, that is that is a thing. That is a really big thing. And wow. Wow, they they really don't make them like they used to. Uh on to transformation, I guess. Golly. Oh yeah, and he also comes with this. Now, he's supposed to have a light up feature uh, by pushing this button right here, but it, it doesn't work anymore, safe to say. Uh, but yeah, yeah, no, you can really arm him up. Jeez Louise, this guy should have been massacring the Autobots. Articulation is pretty good for a toy from the 90s. Head can swivel around. It can look up and down due to transformation, but with some vain results of hilarity. Hello down there! Arms can spin. Ah! Uh, not 360 due to, like I said, the light up feature. Uh, so if it wasn't for that, they probably would, but they can bend forward like that. So if you wanted to charge it like a truck, <laughs> Arms can go out pretty far, which is nice. They could... No, no, they can't even spin 360. I guess they wanted to keep it realistic with their articulation. No swivel at the wrist, which, you know, it's a thing. Surprisingly, there is waist articulation, and that's 360 degrees, which is nice. Legs go forward. Unfortunately, there is no swivel below the knee or above the knee if there was a swiveled above the knee this figure would be damn near perfect the knee bends and the foot goes forward and backwards no tilt but that's okay this figures from the 90s after all now this guy is just oh just stunning just great just just look at him you know he's but he he let's be real he kind of looks like a gorilla look, look at those gorilla arms see black with the gray I know what you've done, Nemesis. I, I know you look like a monkey, but you're my little monkey. Yes, you are. Who's a chunky monkey? Who's a chunky monkey? You're a good chunky monkey. So overall, a really cool figure. Next up, we have Transformers Legends EX Black Convoy. And yeah, he's, he's a lot smaller than the original. It's just so itty bitty and cute. Um, Yes, this is a repaint of the Transformers well, Time Returns Voyager Optimus Prime, which again, based off the G2 Optimus, he has a triple changer, which is neat. Uh, question is, do I remember how to triple change him? No, I don't. I already did a review on this guy. Link is in the description. Uh, and this video is already long enough, so let's get him into his robot mode after I show you that he does indeed roll very very nicely so nice so nice
And here we have him in his robot mode. And my figure's a little bit loose. Uh, if you notice on the transformation, it took me a while to figure out what to do with the wings. It's because I have no idea what to do with them. I'm assuming it's it's weird the way that they're set up. It's, I don't know. Personally, I like to make them look like a trench coat type of thing. Um, oh, dagnabbit, how did I have it? Ah, oh, I don't remember. So yeah, I always struggle with the wings. Uh, you could, you just want to make it easy on yourself. Like a like samurai armor, you know, like like that or whatever. I I can never remember with this guy. Other than that, he's still a really good figure. As far as accessories, he comes with a sword and his signature dual blaster. Now I'm embarrassed to say this, but after owning this guy for a couple years, I just now found out that that piece in the center can split apart. I'm. I feel like such a dunce right now, Dak. This, all, hmm, this whole time, really? Um, wow, wow. So now he has a jetpack, and that's that's super duper cool. Now, as far as articulation goes, head and spin 360 degrees. Um, he also has this gimmick where you post, where you push that, and this goes up, and it's just it's weird. I guess it's to make it look more like that. I guess. Oh, also, if you wanted to have those spikes stick out on the side, you just stay. Pull these out, and it kind of looks like that. Kind of. Maybe not. Yeah. And we all know this dude's a headmaster, so whoop. But, again, it's in the review. Arm spin 360 degrees if you rotate this shoulder stack to the side. So like that. His arms can go out that far. They can go down, rotate above the elbow, bend at the elbow, no wrist swivel or... There's a pivot though, just no swivel. Legs can go forward, they can go backwards, and they can bend at the knee, and swivel underneath the hip, and no tilt or anything. The tail can go forward and backwards. If you want to ankle articulation, you're going to have to split it mid-leg, right at the shin there, and that's how you get the ankle articulation to work. Overall, this guy's a really cool figure, and I'm glad I got him. He was the first Scourge figure I got. Um, and yeah, I just, I dig him. He, he looks cool. The triple change aspect is neat. Would have liked it if it was just a much more direct redo of this figure, get a modern articulation and whatnot, but beggars can't be choosers. So, moving onward. Here we have the first Nemesis Prime figure, which I did indeed do a review of. And yeah, it's the classics Optimus Prime mold. What can we say? Um, so let's... What's there to be said about him that hasn't been said a hundred thousand other times? I mean, he rolls nicely. So nice. So nice he rolls. Wow, that's so smooth. I wish semis actually rolled this smoothly. him in his robot mode. I forgot to flip these up. And yeah, overall, it's not a bad mold. Uh, it was the Optimus Prime figure for many years, and many people have talked about him. And he's Nemesis Prime colored, and I like it. I mean, I really do. I dig Nemesis Prime. And again, here we have him next to Siege Optimus, and he looks not bad. I mean, this probably would work really good for a Nemesis Prime figure, especially with the wheels on the back. I saw the new leader class has that problem too, for Earthrise. And it's just, it's not bad. People give a crap because of this wind vane that's part of the vehicle mode, and if you lose it, it's gone forever. Well, don't lose it. And you know what? If you don't like this weapon, because it's not Optimus Prime, you can just put it on his back, and he has a backpack. Okay, happy? Oh, and this double barrel blaster is super cool. This, this is nice and awful. Look how thin and flimsy that is. This, oh boy, this looks like he'll blow up an entire building. 
So we've looked at the weapons as accessories already, and that's all he comes with. Articulation, head can swivel, go up and down. Waist spins 360 degrees, and his abs spins 360 degrees, or his chest. So if you wanted to, you can get really freaky with the movement. Arms spin 360 degrees, arms can go out that far, they can go in. There is a swivel underneath the shoulder, uh, bends double bend at the elbow. By double bend, I mean it bends both outward and inward due to transformation. Nothing at the hand, which the legs can go forward that far, they can go backward. It's kind of hindered by the bumper, but that's okay, because how often do you, does Optimus Prime do the splits like Johnny Cage? Uppercutting Goro in the testicles. Yeah, that's right. I finally saw the Mortal Kombat movie. Legs can go awkward. Uh, <laughs> can go outward. There's a spin above the knee, 360 degrees. The knee bends fairly nicely. Like, that's more than 90. And the foot can go back and kind of forward, but not by much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As far as swords go, I give him this sword. Uh, it was a spare sword that came with this prime. That way he can fit in with everyone else and have a blade of his own. I guess I could give him that sword. Oh well, everyone gets a sword. Now speaking of this guy, uh, this is a scaled down version of MP10. And yes, I know the smokestacks are missing. Uh, when I got them in the package, they were already broken. But hey, that's what you get from ordering from China, am I right? Um, yeah, he's a scaled down MP10. Um, I have a review of him already. I did a stop motion with him. It's like, oh my, wa shindu, or wherever that goes. So yeah, um, it's a black semi truck. This is definitely skilled. I've never seen a semi like that with a cab like this and a back end like that. That is, whew, so wrong. I've worked on semis, and if I saw that, I would freak out because I'd be so claustrophobic. Oh, you know what? No, that's right. All right, and yeah, he rolls nicely. He has rubber tires. Um, I think he's the only one I have that has rubber tires, and it's... Ooh, look at that. <laughs> uh, good old rubber tires. Now, let's get on to transformation. And here we have Nemesis Prime in his robot mode, and it is stellar. The MP10 mold always look good, and it just begs the question, why can't Hasbro just scale it down? You know, smaller masterpiece figures, because, you know, this isn't too bad of a scale, and, you know, definitely makes him a bit more imposing as Nemesis Prime. That's, ooh, that would be scary. <laughs> Now this guy was a little light on accessories. He came with that sword that I mentioned just a moment ago. He also came with this axe, which is really nice. It's really nice, dark, and menacing. And it's like Optimus Prime has a sword and this dude just pulls out an axe. It's, oh boy. Uh, he also comes with this gun back here, which is simply stored in the back. And just pulls out like that. And the handle flips down, Come on, flips down like so. And yeah, just slabs right into the hand. Slides, slabs, tabs, right into the hand. And it is, it's not the best hold. Besides, I don't even know if I'm, oh, there we go. It's not the best hold and it looks really, really tiny. It just looks so silly when he holds it. So I don't even bother giving him this. It looks more like a pistol. He comes with one more accessory. Uh, let me just put that back. Okay, I might have accidentally lied. He comes with a few accessories. Comes with this G1 style Megatron. And that is just, it's great. It's small, you know. Um, I normally just take off the back and I make him hold Megatron. That's, that's what I do. Because who doesn't like a Optimus Prime holding a Megatron? To recreate that one scene in G1, 
where they have to fight the Insecticons. And that's that's how I like to pose them with the axe. Uh, I will say I was um, I had Nemesis Prime in my truck for a couple of days, and it's hot in Texas, and this kind of just warped into heat. He also comes with this backpack, which I like. Uh, the red thrusters, I don't know, I kind of like the way it looks like that. And it just simply tabs into the back. Come on, come on. Simple, simple, simple. Come on, stop being difficult. There we go. And it tabs into the back like so. And yeah, that just adds a nice, bulky, menacing effect. And those plugs on the back are five millimeter pegs. So, you know, you can put other five millimeter peg weapons on there if you wanted to. If you really want to, which is nice. As to why he would have Optimus Prime's axe right next to his face. I don't know, he's just that evil. He's just like, I am going to kill you with something that can potentially kill myself. Sam, I'm coming for you. Shing! Hello there, I almost got myself. <laughs> this is just a really cool figure, and I'm hoping that they make a scaled down version of the, what is that, MP38, whatever the new one is. That would be super rad. I, I think I would pick that up. Oh yeah, and he comes with a bunch of heads, which I'm just going to pretend are from alternate universes where he's just going around and killed other Nemesis Primes and he just carries their heads with him, like the scene from 300. And finally, we have another, the last one we're going to be looking at today is Striker Noir, uh, probably an even more third party version of a third party figure, so a fourth party figure. Uh, got him off of eBay. Now the question is, does he have accessories <laughs> no none whatsoever okay maybe a couple why yes in fact he has a large variety of accessories um he has the prime ion blaster he has two well not revolvers but we're gonna call them desert eagles he has this nice great sword he has two arm blades two katanas a staff that the katanas can, can combine with. Can, can katanas can combine with. Tongue twister right there. This super duper blaster, which looks like something straight out of Star Wars. He has these two Uzis right here, and they can combine with these pieces and go together like that to make. I don't know. Is that a scar? I don't know. Guns. He also has these pieces so he can store the weapons in his robot mode. And one of them got stuck to the gun, so, yeah. And then he comes with a lightsaber, so, yeah. In case he wasn't evil enough, he comes with a red lightsaber. Oh, and also the... On top of the cab of the truck, the wind vane can also turn into a gun, just like the original Universe Classics one. And it flips out in a very similar manner. I guess, I don't know. Not gonna lie, I have not used this that much. Does that push out? Ooh. Uh-oh. I forgot how to do this. Uh, let's just say this is his gun. It's a... He also comes with these two axe pieces, which can help you push that out. Yay, we did it. Look at us. Making progress. And there you go. That is his wind vane gun, and that's very very impressive and like I said he comes with these two axes and they can combine and uh, they can also go on this thing right here um, I guess it just goes on the one side so yeah that's how you get him his axe mode oh wait a minute no no, no can't shame <sighs> pity actually yeah, that's that's what you get for big X. You get this, which probably isn't very effective in combat. I'm gonna be honest. So yeah, like I said, oh, oh no, oh no, the swords can also go on it, in it. So one at a time. So he now has a sword staff, which I guess is cool and all. And then this blaster, which looks like it's out of Star Wars, you can. 
get the blades to line up. Uh, they're set to a specific way. And you can put one on top and one on the bottom, like so. And boom, you get a really double bayoneted blaster, which you, know, you can also use as an ax. And this can be a handguard, so it's, yeah, that's, that's pretty big. It's, uh, yeah, taller than that guy. Taller than him and taller than him. So that is very impressive. And then these machine guns, which I think are pretty neat. I kind of want to file them down and make it so all Transformers can hold them because that is just so cool. Besides, who's going to give Optimus Prime Uzis anyways? Oh, and then these pieces, the front of the guns, can come over here and tap, come on, and tab in. And they can tab into the back like so. And this is what it looks like without the wind vane. And as a Cybertronian truck, it you know, looks pretty cool. Or sci-fi truck. Uh, so let's get on to the transformation, shall we? And here we have him in his robot mode. And might I say, Striker Noir is quite striking. Right off the back, there is something so aesthetically pleasing about him. Just look at him. All the curvy Cybertronian detail. Wait, not curvy. Maybe spiky? I don't know how to explain it. It, it kind of reminds me of like Batman Beyond, just the way he looks. Just the mere gravitas of him. Is oh, just so dang likable. Just like my doggo. Are you likable? You a good boy? Sometimes. Oh, you're so cute. Hey, look here. Look at the camera. <gasps> look at the. What's this? <gasps> is this a camera? Dude. Posability on this guy is absolutely crazy. The amount of poses you can do, and that is obscenely huge. I totally forgot how big that was. And with the amount of accessories, he truly is a one-bot army. Just, look, two, two Optimus Prime-style blasters, the swords, you saw everything that he had, and it's just striking. Not to mention, with the arm blades, you can pull off some Transformers Prime or cars from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. So what I'm trying to say is he is kind of fantastic. He is truly a pillar of Optimus Prime design. Not like a pillar. Now onto the articulation that I can't just stop gushing about because he's just so... Oh, he looks so cool. He looks like the Optimus Prime from the opening of Bumblebee. That's... I, I would accept this as Cybertronian Optimus Prime, and it's just so cool. Uh, it is on a ball joint, so you know it can do ball jointy things. Arms are on a complicated swivel hinge, so you got a butterfly joint right there. And then there's a ball socket inside the shoulder right there. And there's also some extendi outy right here for the arm to go out like so. And then if this comes untabbed right here, there's even more motion on a ball joint. Um, there's a swivel above the elbow. There is a double jointed elbow. Come on. Come on, work for me. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, that's, that's not double jointed. Okay. Well, it looks like it's double jointed, but it's not. But it feels like it's double jointed. Look at that. Look at that bend, though. That, 
Oh man, it looks like it's double jointed, but it's not. That's uh, that's okay. You know, it, it still functions pretty well. Hands are on a swivel, like so. There's also a hinge right here, so you can do some like finger guns. Like hey, bang bang. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. He has a uh, ab crunch, or yeah, right there. This, um, I don't know if I'm not transforming it right, because I don't look at instructions, but this keeps coming undone right here, and I feel like I'm missing a tiny, teensy, tiny bit of the transformation, and it's just not lining up right, or maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, but if you don't line it up right, you can get some more of a crunch, or just make them do that. Um, waist spins 360 degrees. Uh, there are also flaps on his arms that they're supposed to lock into place, but uh, I haven't had the best luck with Make toys, so this just kind of slides. But that that's okay. All is forgiven. Legs can. Oh yeah, it might help if I flip up his waist. There we go. Flip up his waist skirts. Legs can go forward that much. They can go backwards that much. They can go way more backwards than they can forwards. Uh, legs cannot go out that far due to this getting in the way right here, but that's that's okay. It's it's still serviceable. There is a swivel underneath the uh, hip. Swivel spins 360 degrees. There is an actual double hinge knee, which is very, very nice. Super duper poseable, and it's... It's great. It's really, really poseable. Getting a closer look at the feet, there is uh, up and down movement. There is a ankle rocker so it can pivot and, you know, it can go forward and backwards. And hey, what are you eating down there, huh? I can hear you. What you eating? What are you eating, huh? I hope it's food and not something you found. If you found something, I'm going to be scared. Big question, can he do the Iron Man? He destroys the Iron Man! Like that right there just looks... Mm, perfection. As far as accessories go, I'm pretty sure by far my favorite is probably the Deagles. Like, there's just something about this with two Desert Eagles that just looks so... So awesome. Like, golly. Second favorite is by far the Katanas. That just... Oh, if Optimus Prime used Katanas, that would be... Oh, just so great. Especially Nemesis Prime. Like, that's what... Optimus Prime is a sword and axe kind of guy. Like, very European. Nemesis Prime could be like the... I don't know. Like, the Japanese built-in advanced robot to kill Optimus when he used Katanas tanas or something like that i don't know maybe nemesis prime is just the night bird of optimus primes and boy what are you crying at and of course he comes with a red lightsaber because it doesn't look like darth vader enough as is and it's oh that's so great you could totally recreate the scene from rogue one i mean i'm not gonna do it but you know you can and then he comes with the two uzis that become scar like weapons and that just Ooh, that looks great. The Uzi on itself, you know, it's an Uzi. Spraying and praying. You know, you don't two-hand it. We've all seen True Lies. You can kill people with an Uzi by dropping it down the stairs. <laughs> but, yeah, no. It definitely works best as a scar or a machine gun. And it's just... Uh, it, gives off a, it gives off a very mech, like, anime mech vibe. Like, uh... Oh, what is it? Uh, that one anime where Earth and Mars are fighting in a war. It'll, it'll come to me. Uh, Allies? No, that's the theme song. But yes, very, very cool. And here he is with the Grimlock S sword with the axes as smoke pipes. And it's... Oh, just... Just incredible engineering for the Cybertronian style. Actually, to be honest... Besides giving off a Cars-esque vibe from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, he kind of gives off a Jotaro Kujo vibe.
Now, as it stands, I've only been able to get most of his accessories on, uh, say for his big guns and extra blades. But other than that, he can store most of it on due to those little clip things. And like I said earlier, the one scar is stuck on his back. So, yes, there is weapon storage in robot mode. <laughs> oh, it's pretty crazy. Just... Oh. Anyways, yes, now time for the closing statements. In conclusion, this has been my overview of all the Nemesis Prime figures that I own. No, this is not going to be all the Nemesis Prime figures that I will own, just what I currently have in stock at the moment. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, that joke about the three weeks later, that was not a joke. It's legit been three weeks since I started this review. Um, been very busy. Today's the first day off I've had in two weeks, so... I'm busy with work, been busy with life. So thank you for taking this time to watch my video. You all have a wonderful day. God bless and stay safe. And remember, Optimus Prime is cool, but he's better in black. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out.